Hey guys, it's David and welcome to part two of my Movie Mayhem video. Today I will be giving you some top stories out of Hollywood over the past week. Now, today's first topic is on the recent releases of current theatrical movies by studios onto streaming services. The most recent of which is Disney releasing onward to Disney+. Plus. This of course comes off the heels of Sony releasing Bloodshot to streaming and NBC Universal releasing The Invisible Man, Emma, and The Hunt to Amazon Prime as well as other streaming services. This is big news out of Hollywood because given the recent events of the theater closures and the current world pandemic, this could affect future releases for the rest of the year. We could potentially see big anticipated movies like Mulan, Black Widow, No Time to Die, A Quiet Place Part 2, as well as The New Mutants and whatever other big projects that are being released this year, be released to streaming if theaters don't open right away. And as a movie fan, I don't quite know how to feel about it because on the one hand, I'm happy that we'll be able to get a lot of these movies on streaming that we wouldn't have been able to see with the movie theater closures. But on the other hand, as somebody who enjoys going to the theaters and having that experience the first time I see certain movies, I'm not going to be able to get that. A movie like A Quiet Place Part 2, the first time you see it, it's much better when you see it in movies, and I won't be able to get that. Um, that being said, I understand why studios are going to do it, they're going to need to make money, and this is definitely something to keep an eye on if you're a movie fan, even if you're a casual movie fan, because a lot of these big projects were highly anticipated by many people, and now it may be coming to a streaming service near you, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, that being said, no future movies have been announced yet, but it's definitely, it could happen. Our second topic today is actually a recent announcement from Blumhouse that they will be remaking Dracula with Karen Kusama as the director. Obviously, this is off the heels of the highly successful Invisible Man movie, which has made, last I checked, about $105 million in box office off a $7 million production cost. Now, Universal has not yet attached its name to this project, but a current deal between Blumhouse and Universal states that Universal gets first look rights at any movie that Blumhouse is going to create related to the Dark Universe characters. What this means is that if Blumhouse wants to go forward with this Dracula movie, it must first go to Universal and to see if Universal wants to attach its name to the project. If Universal then decides that it doesn't want to attach its name to the project, Blumhouse can still move forward with the movie anyway because Dracula and several of the other characters are in the public domain. That being said, if I was a betting man, I would bet that Universal will, if it hasn't already, attach its name or announce that its name is attached to this Dracula movie. Because, of course, they, they joined forces with Blumhouse to create the Invisible Man movie. This will be a second movie off of the highly successful Invisible Man, where they're going to try to remake their Dark Universe series. And it'll be another movie that'll likely be highly successful, so long as they stick with the formula, which it seems like they are. Uh, Karen Kusama is an exciting exciting announcement because she is the director of Jennifer's Body, The Invitation, and those were both phenomenal movies. So I'm excited as a horror and a thriller fan, also because this could set up a lot of great dark universe movies for the next decade. We'll probably be able to get movies on the on Creature from the Black Lagoon, Wolfman, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, Van Halen, maybe even a horror-based mummy movie later on down the line. 
There's a lot of potential with these movies to get modern, truly terrifying remakes like The Invisible Man. And if you're a horror fan, if you're a thriller fan, this is something to definitely be excited for moving forward. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there was any new story I gave to you guys that you're excited about or anything else that you want to bring up that you're excited about here in the next year or so in Hollywood, definitely mention it down below. I would love to hear your comments. Uh, I will be releasing content here, probably not until June, but still keep an eye out for content later on anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.